a person see a certain judgment, certain deen, something awful, something dark, something that you… it's hard to connect it with, with the mercy, with Hashem. You want to say, it's not Hashem, some, some dark force is working, it's not Hashem, it's not the kindness, that you cannot call kindness. It doesn't supposed to shake the faith that you have in Hashem. Okay, listen to yourself. That thing is wrong. Why you think that Hashem is Because He's allowing it, so you think that He agrees with it? It doesn't have to be like that. This is what it, it means that we should reveal the mercy of Hashem Barach. That we should reveal it. That we, we have that job on our hands to fight against the bad thoughts that are crucifying us all day long. Chas Shalom to believe that there's something wrong that there are bad things, that bad things can happen, that we're not allowed to cooperate with those thoughts. We need to say, now it's time chas shalom of judgments. There are dinim, but it's not the will of Hashem at all. It's not what that Hashem wants. To say that that's the will of Hashem, it's very far from the truth. It's true. You cannot say that a father that punished his son now didn't chose to punish him, he did, but you can also not say that it's his will. A father can decide to do things that are going to look bad and he also going to feel bad with doing them to his son, out of his loving kindness to his son, but he will not going to like it. There was one story on a, on a person that I told you that thing, that a person that he went off the, the way of 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 tshuva, of, of being religious and, and he, he came one day to his father and he asked his father, how can it be that, that, that Hashem let the Holocaust happen? So his father, that was a very righteous man, he started to cry. So he immediately apologized, I'm sorry father for questioning on Hashem, even though he was questioning, he, he had questions. But he didn't want it to upset his father too much. That was also too bad for him that he already upset him. So he apologized and I'm sorry that I was questioning on Hashem. So I told him, I cannot understand how you can ask that question at all. So I told him why. He said there was a surgery that was must to happen. And now you blame the doctor for cutting that organ and saving the life of the person by doing that surgery and you're blaming him now on, on, on being cruel, on being vicious. So we, no one is saying that we can understand that. No one. But in the eyes of the tzaddikim, Hashem Barach is always good. Not because that they have to, that they're obligated to that. Because they know Hashem. Because we know that Hashem is good, we just know it, it <laughs> there's no other way. Hashem is good, Hashem is kind, now there's judgments, now there are difficulties. Okay, it doesn't shake the stability of faith in Hashem. Okay, now it's time of darkness, you cannot see. Also in the middle of the night it's not the day. So what? Now you're gonna say, maybe tomorrow there will be no sunrise. Maybe the sun is not exist because now it's, it's, it's night. You can see the sun also in the night. How you have the light of the moon? Because the sun hits the moon. So many, how, how the temperature in the night is warm because of the sun uh, is working also at night. Everything is, the sun haven't disappeared because you cannot see it. You cannot deny the, the sun because now it's night. Also the greatness of Hashem and the kindness of Hashem. And, the, and, and, and when we're doing that, so then we're, we're, we're achieving the purpose that for that purpose we've been created. Because each and every one of us have that ability never to give up. And especially after the Rav Nachman Ibrestev came down to the world and gave us enormous powers of strength, of confidence, of bitachon, of faith, emunah. Never to give up. On what? Not to give up. On the hope. Because you know that Hashem is going to be there for me. That you know that Hashem is with me. 
because you know that Hashem is good and you're not questioning on Him. And even if you have doubts and even if you have thoughts, all right, now it's the time to, to reject them. Now it's the time to fight. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.